the masculine state. Complete misunderstanding about this in our culture now. The masculine state is not when a man is controlling, not when he's using toxic uh, violence or uh, toxic emotions. When a man is in his masculine state, he's in control of himself. He is certain. He knows what he needs to do. He has the right emotional words. In fact, when a man's in his masculine state, he's connected to his heart, not his head. And so he's emotionally intelligent in that state. The idea in our culture is that when he's in his masculine state, it's somehow toxic. And that problem that we've caused because of that is now epidemic. We have most men in what we would call their feminine state, uncertain, acting like little boys not stepping up and leading inside the relationship, not being emotionally responsible inside the relationship, not handling all the different areas inside your marriage together. So creating massive problems and forcing you as a woman into your masculine state to have to step up and handle everything. So when a man gets it right and he learns how to be in that masculine state, things change dramatically. Because when he's in that state, we know from medical science that when he's in that state, his levels of testosterone increase by as much as 40%. Correspondingly, his intimate partner, her levels of oxytocin, the connector hormone, the love hormone, increase by 30%. Because in any relationship, any form of communication, 93% of it is the state that we're in when we communicate it. 7% is the words. So when he's in that state, there's a direct communication to you as a woman. You're going to feel safe. You're going to feel secure. You're going to feel heard and understood. And he'll respond with exactly the right words and exactly the right thing to say in that state. That's how critical and important it is. Unfortunately, most counseling focuses in on the strategy, the words you're going to use, the things you're going to say. It's not that. That is not where the change is going to happen. The change is going to happen in the state that it's communicated from. And so if you want to get this right, gentlemen, if you're watching this video, there's a training that you need to do. We have two trainings. One's called the Code Event, which is a relationship-based event for men and women. And we also have the Crucible, which is an event strictly for men to help them get into the state, maintain the state, and learn how to master the state, to be able to handle their relationship, handle their lives, handle their kids, handle the money, handle themselves in their own mental state and their fitness, all these areas that are important for men. And so to get that right, it does take training because our culture is going to keep pushing you back into uncertainty, into your feminine state and in your head, where you're not emotionally connected to yourself, your partner, or actually anybody else. So this is a new learning, sure. I get it's completely different to what most people would be used to. But if you're listening to this and you're getting it, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you want to know more, just have a look on our website, relationshipcode.org, O-R-G. And there's courses on there, both free and events that you can attend as well to learn this training.